Hey everybody, welcome back to this We Could In walkthrough. Uh, we have just finished up at Necklord's Castle. And uh, this is kind of, I don't know, the aftermath, I suppose. Alright, the Willowers Village has joined our cause. Time to return. Ah, yes, and this is where Victor takes off for a little bit. <laughs> that could be a problem. <clears throat> hmm. Tengar, I don't know if she could technically fill in for Victor. I mean, you know, in the game, she's more of a caster. In, you know, Victor's much more physically oriented. <laughs> I guess it's the thought that counts. Um, Tengar actually is pretty decent. Um, you know, that being said, she uh, she is one of the one of the best casters in the game. Um, you know, and I think she's got a long-ranged weapon, if I remember right, so I think that always kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I just like it better, um, you know, like, I, I guess, for instance, somebody like Luck has a short-ranged weapon, but, I mean, in all honesty, you're not really doing any, for the most part, you're not going to be attacking with them, because they're just not physically strong, but... You know, I mean, if you if you stick somebody like that in the back row, they just plain can't attack. They only have their magic to use. So, you know, and that's that's actually really fine, especially if you're using somebody like the hero and uh, you know Kai and their combo, um, just because you're going to be wiping out all the the trash monsters, uh, you know, with those two anyway. Um. So, you know, in all honesty, yeah, that's, that's probably fine. I just, uh, I guess it's just something that I, I don't particularly like. So, whatever. And, uh, there our castle, uh, must have ranked up. So I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm rank two here or rank three. Maybe even rank four. I don't, I don't know. Rank four seems too high. I don't know. though. I don't remember the, I don't remember the different, um, Tears in this uh, this particular Suikoden, <clears throat> uh, but usually in uh, in the Suikoden games, there the the castle leveling up usually means that you can like recruit more people. Um, obviously, the the layout itself often changes as well. Um, I think for the most part, though, most of our stuff is kind of where it's uh, or, or will be where it has been. Uh, as in, you know, the uh, perfect example here is the the warehouse. I believe is still on the was the second floor, as well as all of the um, all the uh, blacksmiths. While the the inn and uh, rune master and stuff is still downstairs on the first floor. So there's just some other there's some other areas in the castle, and I don't really explore it much, just because you know it's. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's just, you know, it's something to look at, but I've already seen it all. So I guess I kind of just, uh, I usually, I guess I would say I just stick to the task at hand. <coughs> all right. So I think I just, you know, being that I had so much cash, I mean, I was capped out there for a while. Um, I, I tried to uh, I tried to just you know spend money on on uh, upgrading people's weapons whenever I kind of had had the chance. So um, you know obviously that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. And man, it takes it takes a lot of money. It really does. It takes a lot of money to uh, to upgrade people's weapons, especially if you want to do it for like multiple characters. You know, if you if you pick a few that you really uh, really like. You know, it's not, a, it's not really a big deal. It's just, uh, um, you know, if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to upgrade everyone's, you know, that would be, 
oh, crazy. I mean, <laughs> it's just going to take a ton of money, which is fine. It's just, uh, you know, again, just be, be prepared for that price tag. It's a bit, uh, a bit ridiculous. <clears throat> uh, I think for the, a lot of this, a lot of the, the, the rest of this video is, um, like, I guess, inventory management and, um, I guess here's a little more story. I I'm not sure, uh, how much more story is actually in this video, though. I actually, I, I didn't think there was going to be much more at all. The only way we can win is to unite the rebel forces. All right, so I guess um, at this point, the you know we just we need more troops essentially to uh, uh, to get to where we want to be. So uh, Humphrey, you know, suggests getting the Dragon Knights on our side, and uh, I believe he is required. It looks like it looks like Flick is gonna come too for sure. So we'll see here, but um, uh, Humphrey, I don't know if I've used him before this point in the game. He, um, man, he's got some of the best armor in the game. I do remember that. Uh, he, I think he can equip uh, a windspun armor, which, you know, we don't have access to yet. That'll, that'll be quite, quite a ways coming up yet. Uh, but the windspun armor, I gosh, I want to say it. It uh, it's really, it's got really high defense, and then um, I want to say it like it uh, gives you more speed as well. So, um, <clears throat> and somebody like Humphrey totally needs that. I mean, typically your your characters that can wear the heaviest of armor are also the slowest. So um, it is it is quite useful. <laughs> Um, but so we'll see here. Oh, um, and yeah, one other one other person you're gonna wanna. I, you don't absolutely have to, but I would recommend taking uh, <clears throat> Lucan, the uh, the doctor. Um, and we'll see who else I grabbed here. So I've. Uh, and Lucan is one of those people who I don't think are very good uh, up front. I think he's he's one of those kind of like. He's kind of a caster, I guess. Um, he's 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 actually really weird. He's got a sh he can use a shield, so you know his defense can actually be kind of decent. But he's just not a very f I don't know I don't know how to describe him. Actually, he he can't be really that great of a caster. Now that I look at it, his his magic stat is pretty horrible. He's only got through it. What was that like three? Maybe I just hadn't rested or something. Maybe he maybe he should have more spells and I just haven't rested recently. I'm not sure, but it looked like he had three basic spells and then one tier two spell. You know, which would lead me to believe that he's, he's not in tune to, to cast magic at all. But uh, <clears throat> again, we'll... Uh, I gosh, you know, I, I doubt that I really did anything with him anyway. So it's hard for me to... Hard for me to say whether. Oh, and that's one other great thing about Humphrey is he can use the the full helmets. So, um, you know, again, he's God, he's just defensively he's a beast. Uh, I think I just I cleared out a little bit of my inventory, or um, I don't know if I should say inventory is the uh, grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my out of my uh, warehouse here just to just to kind of stick it on people I don't know if I I don't know if I kept you know like how I'm definitely uh, going to equip Humphrey here with a bunch of stuff but I'm not sure if I ended up keeping keeping them wow man yeah my characters characters uh, inventories are really really full <laughs> for whatever reason <coughs> Tons of boar crystals. Yeah, trick quit crystal there for Meg, I see. So this must have been 
after I went back to the Dwarven Vault. God, I hated that place. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I said that enough, but I hate that place. It's so long. Anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as far as, as far as, um, crystals to equip on people, I, I don't know. Lucan, like, why, I don't know. It kind of feels like, why bother? He's just kind of garbage. I don't really like him. Uh, Humphrey can, he, I think he does okay with a killer. Um, I don't, I don't know what else I'd really recommend using on him. Maybe, oh, I don't know if he can equip the clone crystal or not. I guess if he can equip the cl clone crystal, I'd I'd be uh, I'd, I'd kind of recommend it only because he, I, if I remember right, his accuracy is not very good either. So, which is again, you know, pretty common for those characters that are that have really really high uh, defensive capabilities. You know, they're typically slower and they <laughs> they miss a lot. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and I equipped the champion crystal on somebody? Okay. Weird. Really weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, again, uh, Lucan, I'm trying to keep my eye out for how much magic he actually has, but... Kind of missed it there. Uh, if I remember right, he's got a uh, he's got a uh, call it a uh, unite attack with you know what, and I'm not gonna remember who it was. But um, I don't know. It's not. It, it doesn't really stand out to me as being very good though either. So I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would say that it's worth. Um, wow, Cleo can use full helmets too. Interesting. Um, again, I don't. You know, I don't know if it's um, if it's worth bringing another character in just to use a unite attack with Luke, and he's just, especially being that I've got Kai, um, <clears throat> it's difficult to, uh, <laughs> I guess, to really really put much thought into anything when you've got that combo, because the the Kai hero combo is again, you know, broken. If I haven't. If I haven't just beat that fact into the ground yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. One of those days. Okay. So it looks like I'm just trying to get everybody at least equipped with, you know, something. Probably, yeah, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to save right now, too. Let's do that. Let's get the show on the road too, man. It's crazy how much uh, of this game, and maybe that's because I, you know, I'm I'm so over leveled and have just a insane collection of gear and runes and whatnot. But it it feels like I did more time just running around setting my characters up than I actually did, you know, out in the field fighting things. Sometimes it just it's kind of crazy. But, you know what, that's okay. Sometimes that, that's how it goes. Boom, boom. All right, where are we off to? Maybe we'll recruit some characters finally, hopefully. I don't know. Seems like I'm about due. You know, it feels like I haven't really done that lately, so. 
Um, let's see here. I'm I'm guessing this is Clive. Uh, if I remember right, Clive randomly appears in the inn, and I don't remember if you have to. You might have to go out to the um, to the world map, and he's actually upstairs. So I don't know why I'm just running in and out like this. Maybe I forgot. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Um, I guess, you know, if, uh, I, I'm just gonna assume you actually have to leave the town and come back in, uh, I'm, but again, though, I'm not 100% sure, so, um, <clears throat> I guess, you know, if you're, if you're having troubles getting him to, to pop up in here, just go out to the world map and come back in. He is upstairs, too. So, again, you know, I don't know why I was checking the bottom floor, but I think he's in. I think when he pops up, he's in between the two beds uh, upstairs. But let's. We'll see here. Maybe, maybe he's all the way on the wall. I don't remember. But we will find out. <coughs> <clears throat> do, 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 do. Still no Clive. Boy, this took a while. It took actually a little bit longer than I thought. Or than I remembered, anyway. Felt like I got him pretty quick, but... There we go. Oh, he was downstairs. Okay, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, Clive. I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't really use him. I feel like he, he's okay. I, I, I want to say, if I remember right, he's pretty quick. Um, so uh, he could be a good candidate for the... Uh, boy, is it the Spark Rune? I think that's the name of it. Um, generally, I guess I'd say, you know, really anybody that's got a really decent speed stat is okay with that rune. Uh, and what it does is it makes uh, it makes all of your characters go uh, or take their turns in battle right after the person that uses the spark rune. Uh, and I don't know. Again, that, it's another one of those runes where it's 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 kind of cool, and it would be even better if your characters could use you know multiple runes. But you know, in a game where you can only have one rune on you know characters and in some cases you can't customize them at all like the hero um it, it kind of loses some appeal for me anyway uh but that's not to say that it's not a good it's not a good rune it's just um i i, I don't know i guess i like other runes better um clive for instance i mean really any physical character i i always kind of feel like the the killer rune is this is generally going to beat out anything else, uh, only because um, you know. You know, I just I, I like I like getting. I mean, critical hits are huge in this game. They do what is it like three times damage or something like that. So um, you know, as long as you've got enough uh, accuracy or like uh, I think it's tech. I think that's tech in this game. Uh, and it, you know, you'll you'll know you'll know. Uh, who's got a decent rating and who doesn't because you know the typically the again you know and i talked about it a little bit earlier the the characters that get really really heavy armor are typically slow and very inaccurate so somebody like humphrey is and victor can uh can suffer some from some of those issues but uh there are items in the game that you can uh equip that'll that'll boost up those stats too so <clears throat> uh you know it's not Definitely not the end of the world. Uh, 
All right. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I finally got enough uh, recruits to, to get Leon. I don't remember the exact uh, amount of characters that you have to have, but... Um, uh, or if it's actually that might be a cat. Uh, I was gonna say it. It might be uh, based on the the level of your castle, but it's the same. It's essentially the same thing anyway, because the level of your castle uh, castle is based on uh, how many recruits you have. So I guess it's uh, it's one in the same. Alrighty. I guess I can look real quick. See what uh see what we need to do. Oh, maybe not. Gonna look at a different spot here. <laughs> do 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 here we go. Oh boy, is this the trek? This might be the trek up to grab Pismerja. We'll see here. We'll see here in a bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Extengar Clive. Oh yeah, this is all kinds of recruitment. Okay, so uh, Leon. Leon, it looks like, oh boy, is this, okay, blah, 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 wow, okay, um, I, gosh, I guess, I guess just, uh, try to get Leon after, after the whole neck lord uh event um and after you know you've got the uh the previous recruit so it looks like you can get you've you've got 91 recruits before you get hicks and tengar and hicks and tengar are 92 and 93 uh clive is 94 um and obviously at that point that's when i decided to get leon so basically you talk to him in kalika he will tell you that the uh, the liberation armies become you know impressive and uh, then you go back to talk to Matthew at the headquarters and he'll give you the letter and then when you bring the letter to Leon that's when uh, that's when he'll join you so um and gosh I want to say Leon is another uh, a strategist so if you uh, uh, his uses are in uh, in the major battles so he'll buff up your to buff up your charge attack just like uh, Apple and uh, Matthew will. Um, and then I guess, you know, once your castle hits level four, that's when you can get Pesmerja here. And I don't know. I, I, I like Pesmerja. Like, I actually, I think I used him in my final party. But uh, he's got his, he's got his weaknesses too. And man, so... You must not be able to use the escape talisman here in Necklord's castle because here again now I'm... Oh, I did a... <laughs> Here's one of the times, one of the times, one of the few times that uh, the champion crystal is actually useful. And that's uh, when you go to get Pesmerja. Um, there's... <laughs> I'll probably leave it equipped here to grab uh, Crowley too. Because he's now recruitable now that the castle's at uh, at rank four, and uh, we'll go cruise through the cave of the wind to grab him too. But uh, you know, again, it's it's uh, its uses are few and far between. But uh, boy, you know, running through Necklord's castle without any encounters is actually pretty decent. It really cuts down on <laughs> the annoyance factor um, as well as the time. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So again, you know, one of the one of the few times that uh, that I that I think is uh, is uh, very useful for the um, the champion crystal. 
All right, where are we going? <laughs> it's locked. Okay. Yep. All right, so this must be the, the trip to get Crowley. And... Oh, my character's... Okay, so... Even though I've got the champion crystal equipped, it looks like I, I'm still fighting for whatever reason here. <laughs> Speed rune piece. Not too shabby. Let's see if I remember how to get get uh, get to Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley. Boy, it might Apparently, my Aussie impression is just horrible. Because that is not what that sounds like at all. That is not what that sound, song sounds like. Alrighty. And an escape talisman. We'll see if I can use that in here. That'd be useful, huh? We'll see if I even remembered to try to use it. Oh, oh, uh, oh, is this it? I don't think, is this it? No, no, not, this isn't the right spot. That's where the window crystal was at for recruiting the aptly named window. God, this guy's just, uh, no imagination or horrible translation. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? And master pupil attack, ladies and gentlemen. Just cleaning house. Ah, it's so broken. <laughs> Just too good. Man, I hope I can use that escape talisman. All right, this has got to be it. Yeah, here we are. There's a secret passage to grab Crowley. What's up, you baddie? Recruit me. All right. And, uh... That's if your castle's rank four. Oh, oh, yep. Okay, escape talisman actually worked. Awesome. That is really, that is really awesome. I'm glad I didn't have to try to come up with more commentary while we were traveling back to the Cape of Wind. Because I'm lazy like that. There he is. Nice purple robe, too, weirdo. He's a Prince fan. <clears throat> All right, where to? Dragon's Den. Okay. Let's see where these people are at. All right. Got some more people to... More people to recruit. Oh, that actually might end up being the next video. We'll see here. Oh, don't let it, he's not going to let anybody in. Oh, I remember this part. Yeah, we need to take a little detour. See if we can gather some information. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's take a little take a little trip over here. That is not the right spot. We don't want to visit Milch's place. Oh, who do we have here? Scoundrel Vincent de Boule. Your lack of trust is so typical of peasant stock. Wow. I don't I don't think you'd want to say that to anybody. Peasant stock or not. This guy is just awesome. Pure aristocratic extraction will owe you money. You should be happy. Don't give me that cock and bull. That's that must be some sort of saying that I don't understand. 
Apparently that guy doesn't like livestock. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. Okay. Liberation Army, blibbity blabbity bloob. At present vacationing. Okay. <laughs> we are both of fine stock. Oh, wow. Send me a few coins. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he was fast. That dude just... Yeah, I see. Did a little dine and dash. Two hundred bits. I think we can afford that. That is a bit interesting. You know that he's going to the dragon's den. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go follow him. Let's go hunt him down. Dude owes us two hundred bits. It's definitely you know gonna make or break us at this point. We need that two hundred bits back. Yeah, not really. Obviously, I forgot to use my sarcasm voice. Sarcastic voice? Yeah, sarcastic voice. Let's go with that. You're very persistent. I can't let you in. Hmm. <clears throat> There's still time to do the right thing. Everything that this guy says, it just seems so fishy. But you just, I don't think you ever really know. You just, I, I'm pretty sure they wrote it like that, where you don't actually ever know if he's telling, the, you know, any bit of truth or not. Maybe I'm missing some trivia or, you know, facts or something. I'm not sure, but... uh I mean, one thing is, he knows he knows this, though. So you come into the Dragon's Night Domain and play when I was a child to know the area well. You can enter the domain from behind the lock. Played at this spot often as a child. Okay. You're quite bright for a commoner. The dude's really good at insulting people. That is a foolish question. I wouldn't know what to do if you even distrusted <laughs> What? <laughs> what okay. Um, okay, what am I doing? Back to the castle again, I see. So what did I forget what did I forget this time? <clears throat> Must be pretty quick though, because I see we're coming up on the end of this video, so let's see what I'm doing here. Oh, killer going on Humphrey, it's looking like that was just so random. Oh, okay, so taking the champion's crystal off of him and putting the killer on. I suppose that makes sense. There's not much reason to have uh, the champion crystal equipped anymore because, um, you know, I've already recruited the people, I guess, that, you know, A, from Necklord's castle and... Uh, and uh, what is it? The, the ca Is it the Cave of the Wind? I'm not sure. It's the one to, that you grab... Crowley from, but anyways, you know, it's a, uh, it's not a bad idea to just take that off of Humphrey, because again, you know, being that we're, we're actually going to be entering another dungeon, and, and the, the champion crystal won't do us any good, because we're not high enough level to, uh, I guess to make use of it, so, all right, um, I'm actually gonna, it looks like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut this here, and then we'll actually go through the, the, uh, dragon's den in the next video 
So uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. But I uh, hope the videos are helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more. All right. Thanks for watching.